This is New York Living on stage. After a six year stay on Broadway, the Tony Award winning puppet musical Avenue Q is getting ready to close up shop. I recently revisited the offbeat comedy and here's my review. It's hard to believe that Avenue Q will soon no longer be part of the Broadway landscape. For any serious fan of musical comedy, it has been a must-see destination since it opened six years ago. You may recall it pulled a huge upset in 04, beating out Wicked for the best musical Tony, and deservedly so. Seeing it again after so much time has passed is like revisiting a wonderful old friend who looks even better with age. It's as fresh as it was opening night and still the funniest show in town. Who would have thought a show featuring Muppet-like puppets spoofing Sesame Street would turn out to be such a big hit? But creators Robert Lopez and Jeff Marks ingeniously came up with a concept that showed us the flip side of the iconic kids TV show, where everyone's a little bit racist, one of the Burton and Ernie counterparts is gay, and the Cookie Monster character is mad for porn. Unlike Sesame Street, the sun doesn't always shine on Avenue Q, and the darker it gets, the more resonant the humor. Lopez and Marx won the Tony for their inspired, politically incorrect score, which still hits the mark. And the show's book writer, Jeff Witte, won as well. That book is really terrific, tying various subplots together with great finesse. And Jason Moore's fluid direction, though not Tony winning, is equally successful. Anne Harada from the original company recently returned to reprise the role of the scrappy Christmas Eve. She and all of the performers are sensational, some of them morphing seamlessly into their puppet skins. Special mention to Robert McClure as Princeton and Rod, and Anika Larson as Kate Monster and Lucy the Slut, fresh from the national tour. They are quadruple threats, acting, singing, clowning, and puppeteering with consummate skill. If you haven't yet seen Avenue Q, go now and treat yourself to one of the wisest, wittiest, most human of comedies. If you have seen it, go again and be sure to leave the kids at home. I am truly sad about this closing. Avenue Q leaving Broadway. There goes the neighborhood.